Hi, Martin here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a variety of settings for the dock on Mac. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a dock that is customized just for you. So let's get started. OK, so the dock on Mac has a number of different options that you can use to customize it to your own liking. Now, the quickest way to do this, we actually have a number of options on the dock if we just control click on the dock itself. So just find a gap between your applications and then hit at control and click. And then what you'll see here is that we have four different options that we can do directly from this small menu. So the first one is to turn hiding on. Now if we turn hiding on, you're going to see the dock disappear. So now if I move my cursor down to the bottom, the dock's going to reappear. So I find this useful for particularly if you've got a 13-inch uh, MacBook or something like that, so the screen's a little bit smaller and you just want an extra bit of real estate, keeping the dock out of the way unless you need it is quite a useful feature. So I'm going to go back and control click. I'm just going to turn hiding off for this point in time. So the next option that we have is to turn magnification on or off. So if I turn magnification off, you'll see if I go across my dock, nothing happens. Everything's exactly the same. So let's go ahead and turn magnification on. And then what you'll see is that we have the magnification effect. So it just makes it a little bit bigger, dependent on where your cursor is along the dock. Now, this is really a personal preference. You can customize the magnification, make it uh, more pronounced, less pronounced, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So let's go back into our small dock menu here and then go to the third option. So the third option here is position on screen. And we've got three options, left, bottom, and right. So currently my dock is on the bottom. Let's go ahead and move that over to the right. So you can see here I now have my dock over here on the right-hand side. Again, this is really another option that is personal preference. I find I'm so used to having um, a dock at the bottom. Having it on the right or the left doesn't really work for me, but that may work for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final option here, which is minimize using. So what we're going to do is just open up. I've just got a blank document here so I can show you how this option works. Now, if I minimize this Word document I have here, the effect that we have as it goes down to the dock is what we call a genie effect. Okay, So if we go ahead and control click and change minimize using genie to scale and then do the same thing, you can see that genie effect has now disappeared. So dependent on which one that you like, you may like the way the effect looks. Having this option is certainly a little quicker um, to be able to minimize and then enlarge afterwards. So again, let's go ahead back to Genie so you can just see the difference. And that's the Genie effect. So have a play around, see which one you prefer. So let's control click. We've looked at turn hiding on and off. We've looked at magnification, position, and the minimize effects. So let's go ahead and jump into dock settings for an extra few options. Okay, so here we are in settings, and you can see that we've got the same settings we had in our small menu. We've got position, uh, we've got minimize, we've got automatically hide and show the dock down here. Now, the other thing that we have up here are size and magnification. So let's start over at magnification. So remember I said that you could kind of adjust that magnification effect. So at the minute, I've got it here. So if I go and slide this up to large, what you'll see is it's much more pronounced, so much more zoomed in on that magnification effect. And if we go down to small, you'll see you can't really see anything at all. So if we go a little bit higher, you can see just that tiniest bit of magnification. Okay, so if you like the magnification effect, like I said, I like just having just a little bit on my dock. And then over here on the left, we have size. So this is fairly self-explanatory. But what it will do is make our dock smaller or 
bigger. Now you'll kind of see with large that I kind of have a point where it stops because of the number of applications that I have in my dock. So it can only go so wide while staying at the bottom. So I can only go so far. If I had far less applications in my dock, then I'd be able to change the size on there. Okay. So the final thing that I wanted to show you with the dock is how to add and remove uh, applications. So again, if I wanted to make my dock bigger, but there's too many things in there, what I can do is go ahead and remove them from my dock. So I could go on here and I can drag the application. So you see here, I've gone a little bit higher and now I have this remove icon here. So I'm here and I'm up. And then when it says remove, simply let go of the mouse. And then that application has been removed from the dock. What I'm going to do now is open up my applications folder so I can show you how to add them. And I'm sure that you can guess. All I need to do if I want to add is I'm going to take my application. I'm going to drag, drag, drag down to the dock choose where I want it to go and then let go and that has now added the application to my dock. So the final thing that you'll see over here on the right hand side are documents. I have documents and I have downloads so these are my folders over here. What I can do if I have a folder that I use all the time and I want nice quick access to it what I could do is take something like that and I could drag that down to my dock and now I've got my pictures folder down here as well. And same process if I decide actually I don't want that one down there, what I can do is I can drag it up and I can hit remove or I could control click on here and then in that control click I can go to options and I can hit remove from dock. So there you have it, a number of different options that will allow you to customize your dock on Mac. I hope you found something useful. If you have, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.